I, I think that there was something about um, the expression on our director Alejandro's face when I when I first met him. He almost had a hard time articulating why he wanted to sur submerge himself in the elements like this. But I have a feeling it was it was. He loved the screenplay, but he wanted to find the, the, the poetry about this man's story. Everyone in this movie is trying to survive, from the indigenous people to the fur trappers to even the bear. It's a, it's a survival story at its purest form. So through this man's journey, he wanted to find questions about who we are as people. And I saw that in his eyes, and you know, it was something that I wanted to embark on with him. So. We all had to put ourselves well, it's good of you our, to say our that trust you say, in his hands completely. Okay, Alejandro, yes, I'll be naked in the snow in minus goodness knows what. Yes, I'll eat raw bison liver and get inside a, a dead horse and, uh, and I'll have shooting days where my fingers feel like they're going to fall off and countless days where I think I'm going to have hypothermia. I mean, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, <laughs> that's not easy. <laughs> No, no, I, I wouldn't say it was. There, it wasn't. I've been asked to talk about fun stories from this whole experience. <laughs> and I, I, I was, <laughs> it was difficult to come up with one, if any, because <laughs> what every is day one? was absolutely tough. There were there were no light-hearted moments. No. Really, we, we weren't jumping around playing practical jokes with each other off camera. It was it was pretty much let's just get the hell out of the cold yeah. and eat something warm. That was our primary focus every day after work. And, and I mean you threw yourself into the role and it does appear from that list of things that Phil just said there that there was nothing that you wouldn't have done if it was desired of, of him, of his character. Was there ever a moment during filming where you just went, do you know what, that's <laughs> enough or no, actually I'm not going to do that? Well, the great thing is we had this wonderful rehearsal process, which you don't normally get the luxury of having on every single movie, where you get to talk at great length about your character's intentions, your relationship with the camera. Every day was a rehearsal process because they wanted to shoot in natural light. So we had this hour and a half window. And that was one of the things that was so unique about this movie, that I've never done a film like this whatsoever. Every day was almost like rehearsing theater. So you work out your, co your, your coordination with the other actors, the camera, all the other departments, and then you have this manic half, hour and a half of natural light where you have to achieve that day's work. And if, and if you don't achieve it, you're back the next day. So it fused us with this kind of tension and this, it was like an adrenaline-filled experience every single day. It was like doing live television, yeah. like yeah, I'm doing now. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's a, the story of, of Hugh Glass. It's amazing that it's, it doesn't seem to have been told before. This frontiersman, this this trader, um, and uh, and a, a life yeah. that really, I suppose, that geographically, that part of America, that time in history, really very little is known about it anyway. Yeah, well, Hugh Glass was kind of a campfire legend, but he represented this iconic new American frontiersman at that time. All of the West was really uncharted, you know, it was, it, it was an era in time where it was almost like the, the, the Amazon, there was, it was lawless, there were indigenous communities, there were French, English, Canadian fur trappers all there to, to trap the animals and ship them off to Europe for furry hats basically. But it was this first sort of wave of capitalism out West, so you, Hugh Glass is almost kind of represents to that era of Americans of of, of man being able to survive or conquer nature. He was the man that was mauled by a bear and crawled through hundreds of miles of frozen wilderness. So it, it was, it, it's a story that's been told from generation to generation of, of our ability to adapt and our ability to, you know, um, adapt to all different circumstances in life. So Hugh Glass was, uh, there was very little known about him, to tell you the truth, very little, but this was more about you know, one man's quest for survival and what the things that he draws upon on a personal basis. There must have been, and I know you've said this in the past, we've had four nominations for the Academy Award, that you, that you when you're making a movie, the last thing you're thinking about is an Oscar. Uh, um, there m must have been times when your fingers have fallen off that, that you thought, I hope I get something for this. I mean, congratulations <laughs> on the Golden Globe, but, but, I mean, you know, surely this has got to be, this has got to be the lucky year for you. Well, 
the thing that I do know about that is completely beyond my control at this point. <laughs> uh, the, the, I have, when I get asked these questions, it's, 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 it's interesting because that's not why you do the work. You know, it's, you do the work honestly because uh, you love making movies and you want to look back and have a, a filmography that you're proud of and you know when you're on set you have to give everything you possibly can while you're there. But of course, being recognized by your peers and, and all that other stuff that happens, it's kind of it's kind of the cherry on the cake, so to speak. But well, you know, all the work for me has been done. I've mm. done everything I could possibly do. So it's all up to you to decide whether yeah. it's worthy of being seen or talked about or awarded. Well, well I think this, this is, is the, the one you, des you deserve. Got... You're going to take your mum to the ceremony. You've took it, taken it in the past, haven't you? I'm, I'm, I'm sure she will be first on my list, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and also, uh, I, I, I just, we were just wondering, finally, whether, it, it, because it went viral, if Lady Gaga was to walk past you and to brush your arm, whether you would look quite so surprised <laughs> this time round. <laughs> we were laughing about that afterwards. I, I actually had no idea who was passing me, what was going on, but that was a funny little bit that went around. <laughs> we were, were laughing at it. Were you surprised it went viral? Yeah, I was. It's it's amazing what goes viral these days. I <laughs> I guess I'm of a different generation now because <laughs> I have no idea where this stuff comes from or how it's even captured.